So, <laughs> you're stuck with me. Yeah, you just heard everybody. They just leaving. Everybody left. We actually had a studio audience. They didn't even stay here to see me record this. Everybody left. I don't even know if there's anybody back there switching the camera. Is there anybody back there switching the cameras? Okay, there might be one person back there paying attention to all of this. You already know what to do. If you are here by accident, and maybe you don't know, this is for you. Cross Politic has YouTube problems. We, I know you got 99 problems and YouTube ain't one, but we... <laughs> We got a YouTube problem. YouTube doesn't allow us to completely do our show without being canceled. There's like one, I don't know why, maybe one to five people who really, really, really hate what we do here at Cross Politic. And they are on our page going through our videos saying, what is the policy at YouTube? I'm going to go find out because I don't have anything to do. And I'm in my mama's basement and she pays for my electricity and my high speed internet. So then they go on there and they find out where we have offended the YouTube gods and they dislike and report those videos. So we've been canceled so many times. You already know that. So what we've decided to do is to move our show from YouTube over to our Fight, Laugh, Feast app and on Facebook. And believe it or not, we live stream on Twitter on my Twitter accounts as well. But the best place to go is on the Fight, Laugh, Feast app. The Fight, Laugh, Feast app has a chat in it now that if you aren't paying attention, it's a fun chat to be hooking up with people from your state, depending on what state you're from, you can actually go inside of the chat box, select your state, and talk to people from your state, meet people from your state, while you guys all watch the show live. And you don't want to miss today's show. John Doyle, you might remember him from yesterday. He was a guest. First segment, we talked to John Doyle. And backstage as well, we went on a little longer. Come to find out, the guy's a Catholic. Who knew? But we had some things to say the other day about John Doyle that was like, hey, man, appreciate your fight. Glad that you're out there. Don't know if we agree so much on how you decided to um, go expedite your position in front of everybody. Glad that you're out there, need you to fight, want to support you. But maybe we need to think about putting the gospel first or putting the fact that, hey, we know we're talking to dead people. Is there anything that makes dead people come to life? I don't know. The word of God. The Bible talks about this so much, and we need to remember this every time that we are out in public. Look. The whole world belongs to God. He's the one who spoke it into existence. It's he's the one who knows how to fix it. So if if my car is broke, I don't go use um, boat pieces to fix it. I use car pieces. I use the piece that is developed from God made it from his word. So we use God's word to fix the problem. That's how we engage with the world. And so my argument has always been, hey, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but are mighty through God, pulling down strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thought, a high thought that acknowledges itself against the knowledge of Christ. And so we got a chance to talk to John Doyle, and he was bold enough to come on the show and have a great conversation with them. I hope he decides to come into the studio right now. Go to the app, download the app, and you can watch the show there and see our conversation with Doyle. And if you're a Fight, Laugh, Feast Club member, you get to see the backstage pass as well. I'm going to go do like everybody else and leave. <laughs> 